The foundation stories for many cities throughout the world blend history with mythology. Travel to Rome, the Eternal City, and you will learn how the city was established by two twins who were suckled by a she-wolf. The story of origin for the city that never sleeps involves a more modern vocabulary. The work to be discussed on this video is the Netherlands Memorial Monument, a monumental flagpole located within Battery Park in Manhattan. The best overview of this monument is written on two of the four sides of the pedestal. On one side, the information is in English, and on the other, in Dutch. The English side reads, On the 22nd of April, 1625, the Amsterdam Chamber of the West India Company decreed the establishment of Fort Amsterdam and the creation of ten adjoining farms. The purchase of the island of Manhattan was accomplished in 1626. Thus was laid the foundation of the city of New York. The work was a gift from the people of Holland in 1926 and it commemorates the third centenary of the establishment of New Amsterdam, the first European settlement on this part of the New World. Established in 1626, New Amsterdam encompassed the area south of Wall Street, territory that today forms part of the financial district. A couple of decades later, in 1664, New Amsterdam was renamed New York after the British took control of the territory. The monument was designed by H. A. van den Eijnda, a sculptor from Harlem in the Netherlands. The pedestal is made of granite and has four sides. The most figurative of all the facades is the one facing to the southwest. Rendered here is a relief depicting the almost mythical purchase of the land now known as Manhattan by Dutch provincial director General Pierre Minuit from the native inhabitants of the territory. It is widely believed that Manhattan was purchased for $24, but more information has surfaced and the investigations indicate that it was rather 60 guilders valued in goods that is believed to equate to around $600 in today's money. So it was not 20 some dollars, but in any case, it was a steal. Behind this relief is the rendition of a map of New Amsterdam. Extending from east to west, here you see what used to be the palisade that protected New Amsterdam from the British, who at the time had already colonized several places along the east coast of the North American continent. It also provided protection from possible invasions by Native Americans. The ample bay around which Lower Manhattan is situated and the abundant natural resources made it ideal for the Dutch to establish a trading post for the Dutch East India Company. New York City's preeminence in commerce is a direct outgrowth of its origins as a Dutch mercantile trading outpost. The Dutch have had far-reaching influence on local culture. The name Brooklyn, numerous streets throughout the city, the New York Knickerbockers professional basketball team all derive their names from the Dutch. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your attention. For more stories, visit 5dguide.com or look for 5dguide on Facebook. Until next time.